So, Levi, tell me about the uh, experience you had with the ducks earlier today. Well, it's not just earlier today, it's just like in general, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, like today I just stepped outside and the rustling wind on the leaves made it sound like a waterfall. And once in a while, whenever I uh, take a walk, I encounter this creek and the creek occasionally has ducks. Yeah. And those said ducks, like, like, I just feel jealous of them. Like, they, they have so many things, like, they don't have to worry about a single thing, like, they just have everything under control, they never have to worry, they never be stressed out, and, you know, like, I just wish that I could feel more zen like said ducks, because... They don't seem to be stressed out about anything. Like, they just seem to have everything properly put together. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I gotcha. Like, almost that nostalgic feeling of no stress, just kind of living your own thing. Yeah, but the thing is, when it comes to my podcast, sometimes I feel like it's like juggling three hot potatoes without burning yourself and without having any of the potatoes hit the floor. Like, I feel like I need to keep juggling said potatoes in order to get a better score in my future for my podcast. And I just really hope that someday I wouldn't have to feel like that with my podcast in terms of how successful I have been. Like, the YouTubers like Markiplier and such, like, they must be very blessed to have, like, like a few million views in just seven days, for example, because that is an accomplishment, and I wish I could earn the right to get to that point, to have that milestone. That makes sense. Do you ever have, like, doubts about YouTube and, like, the fame and everything? And Not doubts, per se, just the algorithm seems to be iffy, and I would just really hope that it would introduce me to people more often. Yeah. What are some other things that have, like, made you feel nostalgic? Like, certain sensations that I wish I could re-experience when I was in my past. Like, I didn't worry about nostalgia until after I moved into this specific house. Yeah. Like, one instance is, like, the sensation of campfires during a Halloween night, the illumination, the the sensation of the uh, autumn leaves, even though I can't smell, I could feel the sensation rather than smell it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, the times when I would wake up for Christmas morning and have it feel so worth the wait like multiple instances it would feel as such and I just really hope that I could preserve the legacy that I have left behind like for myself like it's just I would like to feel the sensations that I cherished in my past like whenever I went on a road trip with my family we've been driving for hours on end and once we finally get to the hotel to be done for the day it was pitch dark and I could feel the illumination of the lights and the neons and once we walk into the building the sensation of seeing something brand new and getting up to said like hotel room and the occasional hanging out in the swimming pool area like those are very fine sensations that I would really love to hold dear. I don't want to re-experience those events per se. I would like to re-experience the sensations I had around said events. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, I really hope my audience understands where I'm coming from and how I am, because that seems to be my best chance for for some level of social recognition is if people understood me and even feel like empathy or relation. Yeah. 
I gotcha. On that topic, like, with Halloween coming up, and as a horror fan yourself, like, is there any plans you have for it, or hopes for it? Um, not as far as I know, but I do know that there are some traditions to keep in mind, like, on Halloween Monday night, make sure not to eat all the candy, at least, make sure you have at least one candy left untouched. Mm. Because that is a tradition. Another tradition is to always check your candy just in case there's like cyanide or razor blades or anything like that. You, like, there are protocols to keep in mind when it comes to Halloween. Totally, yeah. Yeah. I got you, man. Well, thanks for sharing that. That was amazing. Yeah, I just hope it's worth it for my audience. Of course, yeah. 